Today's Senate hearing is supposed to be about the FISA Act, the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act. But so far, it's been a lot about Russia. I'm ABC's Josh Haskell. We are in the Hart Senate building right now. Uh, as we have the camera pan, that's about as close as we can get you guys to the hearing. But that's OK, because you're seeing a live feed of the hearing as well. We're right outside that room where it's taking place. When uh, Republicans have had the opportunity to ask uh, members of the intelligence community, the chiefs of the intelligence community questions, they focused on the FISA Act. When Democrats have had the opportunity, they've talked about uh, Russia, the firing of Comey, and specifically to the head of the DNI, uh, Dan Coats um, and Admiral Rogers, they've asked them if they were ever pressured by President Trump into uh, interfering with the Russia probe, somehow um, doing something about uh, Comey's um, investigation, the FBI investigation into the probe, whether there was not just pressure, uh, encouragement to be involved, encouragement to possibly stop it. That's, of course, been some uh, reports in the press that uh, the head of the DNI, Dan Coats, did tell some of his confidence that President Trump did ask him to get involved. Uh, we want to play the response not just from Admiral Rogers, also from Dan Coats, when they were asked that by Virginia Senator Mark Warner. Warner, we're going to play both sound bites back to back. Take a listen. Rogers first, then Dan Coats. So today I am not going to talk about theoretical's. I am not going to discuss the specifics of any interaction or conversations I may or can may you, not. Can if, you? If I could finish, yes, sir, please. That I may or may not have had with the President of the United States, but I will make the following comment. In the three plus years that I have been the director of the National Security Agency, to the best of my recollection, I have never been directed to do anything I believe to be illegal, immoral, unethical, or inappropriate. And to the best of my recollection, during that same period of service, I do not recall ever feeling pressured to do so. In uh, my time of service, which is uh, in interacting with the President of the United States, uh, or anybody in his administration. I have never been pressured. I have never felt pressure uh, to uh, intervene or interfere in any way and shape with shaping intelligence in a political way uh, or um, in, in relationship all to I, an ongoing I'd, investigation. All I'd say and there you go. Uh, big theme today, something that we heard inside quote, I do not feel it's appropriate to talk about conversations that I had with the president. So that was the position uh, of those chiefs of the DNI. Of course, Dan Coats uh, appointed by President Trump. Um, and that's something that Senator Warner did point out. When it went back to the Republican side, uh, Senator Rich said uh, to Dan Coats, I think that you answered that question pretty well. The case is settled. You were not pressured. Uh, Democrats clearly not feeling like anything is settled um, because really they wouldn't talk about uh, any conversations that they had with the president. They just said that they weren't pressured, um, but they would not go into depth about uh, specifics in that Washington Post article and other reports whether President Trump at any time told uh, the heads of the, the DNI and uh, the intel community to stop their investigation, get involved in the investigation, talk with uh, Director Comey. Uh, and of course, where are we again? We're in the Senate building, Heart 216. Today's Wednesday. Tomorrow, Thursday, uh, former director of the FBI, James Comey, will be here to testify. Um, much different scene, I think, tomorrow as compared to today. You can see it's sort of quiet. There's some cameras set up in that hallway. We'll take you there right now in case uh, any of the senators want to come out after or uh, any members of the intelligence community. Uh, they want to come to this podium specifically and talk to us. Um, but so far, everyone's inside that hearing. Tomorrow will be a much different scene here uh, for Director Comey as we have not heard from him since he was fired by President Trump. We're going to have more from what's going on inside uh, a little bit later. We'll have an update, but you can, of course, watch that feed on ABC News all day, uh, and we'll have continued updates. For now, I'm ABC's Josh Haskell in the Hart Senate Building in Washington, D.C. More to come.